October 19th, 2022, Daily Bread. Passage Ezra, chapter 10, verse 1 through verse 44. Key verse 3. Title, Renewing the Covenant. While Ezra was praying and confessing, weeping and throwing himself down before the house of God, a large crowd of Israelites, men, women, and children, gathered around him. They too wept bitterly. Then Shechaniah, son of Jehiel, one of the descendants of Elam, said to Ezra, We have been unfaithful to our God by marrying foreign women from the peoples around us. But in spite of this, there is still hope for Israel. Now let us make a covenant before our God to send away all these women and their children, in accordance with the counsel of my Lord and of those who fear the commands of our God. Let it be done according to the law. Rise up, this matter is in your hands. We will support you. So take courage and do it. So Ezra rose up and put the leading priests and Levites and all Israel under oath to do what had been suggested. And they took the oath. Then Ezra withdrew from before the house of God and went to the room of Jehoiahanan, son of Eliashib. While he was there, he ate no food and drank no water because he continued to mourn over the unfaithfulness of the exiles. A proclamation was then issued throughout Judah and Jerusalem for all the exiles to assemble in Jerusalem. Anyone who failed to appear within three days would forfeit all his property in accordance with the decision of the officials and elders, and would himself be expelled from the assembly of the exiles. Within the three days, all the men of Judah and Benjamin had gathered in Jerusalem. On the twentieth day of the ninth month, all the people were sitting in the square before the house of God, greatly distressed by the occasion and because of the rain. Then Ezra the priest stood up and said to them, You have been unfaithful. You have married foreign women, adding to Israel's guilt. Now honor the Lord, the God of your ancestors, and do his will. Separate yourselves from the peoples around you and from your foreign wives. The whole assembly responded with a loud voice, You are right. We must do as you say. But there are many people here, and it is the rainy season, so we cannot stand outside. Besides, this matter cannot be taken care of in a day or two, because we have sinned greatly in this thing. Let our officials act for the whole assembly. Then let everyone in our towns who has married a foreign woman come at a set time, along with the elders and judges of each town, until the fierce anger of our God in this matter is turned away from us. Only Jonathan, son of Asahel, and Jasea, son of Tikva, supported by Meshulam and Shabbatai, the Levite, opposed this. So the exiles did as was proposed. Ezra the priest selected men, who were family heads, one from each family division, and all of them designated by name. On the first day of the tenth month, they sat down to investigate the cases. And by the first day of the first month, they finished dealing with all the men who had married foreign women. Among the descendants of the priest, the following had married foreign women. From the descendants of Joshua son of Jazadok and his brothers, Maseah, Eleazar, Jarib, Gedaliah. They all gave their hands in pledge to put away their wives, and for their guilt they each presented a ram from the flock as a guilt offering. From the descendants of Imer, Hanani, and Zebadiah. From the descendants of Harim, Messiah, Elijah, Shemaiah, Jehiel, and Uzziah. From the descendants of Peshur, Elianai, Messiah, Ishmael, Nathanael, Josabad, and Elisah. Among the Levites, Josabad, Shimei, Keliah, that is Kalida, Pethiah, Judah, and Eleazar. From the musicians, Eliashib. From the gatekeepers, Shalom, Talem, and Uri. And among the other Israelites, from the descendants of Perosh, Ramiah, Isaiah, Malkijah, Mijamin, Eleazar, Malkijah, and Benaiah. From the descendants of Elam, Mataniah, Zechariah, Jehiel, Abdi, Jeremoth, and Elijah. From the descendants of Zatu, Elionai, Eliashib, Mataniah, Jeremoth, Zabad, and Aziza. From the descendants of Bebai, Jehohanan, Hananiah, Zabiah, and Athlai. From the descendants of Bani, Meshalum, Maluk, Adiah, Jeshub, Shael, and Jeremoth. From the descendants of Pahath Moab, Adna, Kelal, Benaiah, Maseah, Mataniah, Bezalel, Benui, and Manasseh. From the descendants of Harim, Eleazar, Ishijah, Malkijah, Shemaiah, Shimeon, Benjamin, Maluk, and Shemariah. From the descendants of Hoshum, 
Mataniah, Mathata, Zabad, Eliphalet, Jeremiah, Manasseh, and Shimei. From the descendants of Bani, Madai, Amram, Uel, Beniah, Badiah, Kilui, Beniah, Mermoth, Eliashib, Mataniah, Matanai, and Jesu. From the descendants of Binui, Shimei, Shalemiah, Nathan, Adiah, Machnadabai, Sheshai, Shariah, Azarel, Shalemiah, Shemariah, Shalom, Amariah, and Joseph. From the descendants of Nebo, Jael, Mephia, Zabad, Zabina, Jadai, Joel, Beniah. All these had married foreign women, and some of them had children by these wives. Daily Bread Message When the people saw Ezra repenting before the Lord, they were convicted of their unfaithfulness. They wept and confessed their sin, but they also confessed their hope in God. They resolved to commit themselves to God and made a covenant before him to send away their foreign wives and children and live according to the law. When Ezra heard this, he put the leaders under an oath while he fasted and prayed about their unfaithfulness. An assembly was then proclaimed. Then Ezra reminded them of their unfaithfulness and told them to honor the Lord and rid themselves of their foreign wives. The whole assembly agreed. Each town would set a time to take care of the matter so that God's fierce anger would be turned away. A record of those who gave their hands in pledge to obey God was written. It is the testimony of their faith in God who forgives sin and establishes his covenant with those who repent. Prayer Lord, help me to trust and hope in your forgiveness. Bless me to live in the new covenant each day. One word, repent and live in hope.